Good day class. In this video, I will teach you how to download and install the robotics toolbox by Peter Cork in your MATLAB online. Okay. To download and install the robotics toolbox, go first to this link, petercork.com. It is available at the bottom of this video. Then, go to the installing the tool toolbox instructions. Okay. Then, down here, find the RTB 10.4.mltbx. Then, uh, click this download. Okay. So, it will uh, download this uh, MATLAB file. Then, Go back here at install from shared MATLAB drive folder. We will uh, click RVC second edition RTB10 plus MVTB4 2017. So this mat this uh, robotics toolbox by Peter Cork is a popular robot a uh, popular toolbox since uh, 2011. So it has a uh, two different edition the first edition from 2011 then the second edition uh, from 2017 so most uh, most uh, robotic students around the world uh, know this toolbox in MATLAB when because this is a this a uh, robotics toolbox by Peter Cork is a very uh, beginner friendly robotics toolbox so you will uh, learn as a beginner here the fundamentals of robotics like forward kinematics inverse kinematics then uh, later the Jacobian matrices and uh, trajectory planning okay so let's click RVC second edition so if you click this it will be directed to your MATLAB online account okay it will be directed to the drive of your MATLAB online account so this is your MATLAB online MATLAB online account okay this is your MATLAB uh, online drive so after redirecting here you will see there is a folder this is a, the folder that contains uh, everything you need for for uh, opening or using the robotics toolbox. As well as, we also need this RTB, that M LTBX, okay, to install the robotics toolbox. So, let's uh, go this, uh, go in this uh, matrix menu then uh, let's proceed to the MATLAB online environment okay so let's open MATLAB online basic okay. while opening let's go to the oh sorry let's go to the uh, download folder okay where I downloaded the rtb.mltbx okay so let's go to the current folder then find upload at the home tooltip okay let's click upload we will upload the rtb Okay, that MLTBX. So I uh, downloaded it uh, many times to test. If the robotics toolbox by Peter Cork will work online. Okay, so it's uh, finally uploaded. Then. Okay, from here, 
click this uh, three dots or right click this uh, rtb that mltbx then open okay. so it will be right re uh, redirected to the add-on manager and it will automatically install the robotics toolbox okay so it's already installed okay so it is uh ready to be used okay. so to, te to test if MATLAB online is already in my oh sorry to test if the robotics toolbox by Peter Kirk is already in my MATLAB online in this account uh, I will test to code the SCARA PRR variant 3 so this is a variant of a SCARA manipulator okay it has 3 degrees of freedom okay so it all uh the frames are already assigned and we already have here the dh parametric table okay so i already have a code for scara prr3 i will just paste it okay in our matlab online command window to test if the robotics toolbox is uh, properly installed okay so this is just a command window i can uh, i can enter i can press enter to run this code okay so let's wait okay so it's it's already functioning so the, ma the robotics toolbox by Peter Cork is already installed and properly installed. Okay, so the robotics toolbox by Peter Cork shows this uh, this Denavit Hartenberg parametric table. Okay, which is the same, almost the same with this uh, DH parametric table. I create I derived from our kinematic diagram. Okay. So there is there are just uh, small problems. Okay. There are errors. Okay. So our TB plot resize callback. So these are fine. It can uh, it will not affect our program. Okay. So what we need here okay First is the DH parametric table by MATLAB and also the simulation, okay? the simulation of our mechanical manipulator. So this is the mechanical manipulator, the SCARA PRR variant 3. So it's different from our first variant of SCARA and our second variant of SCARA okay so it has uh, three joint variables D1 theta 2 and theta 3 so these are the joint variables okay if we drag this slide switch if you notice that this is a prismatic joint and it will uh, translate either upward or downward then these two are theta okay the revolute revolute joint theta so if i slide this slide switch okay so it will uh, rotate okay then this third slide switch so it, the third joint will rotate okay so to operate these slide switches you can uh, drag the slide or type here the amount of uh, slide you want to you want your mechanical manipulator to translate or rotate so according to the code or according to our uh, 
parametric table. No, it's not here. Sorry. It's uh, it's according to our code. According to our code, our prismat our prismatic joint can only uh, rotate. Okay, it's not here. I need to open this. It can only translate. Sorry, our prismatic joint can only translate from zero to five. Okay, so the unit of length. It's not stated, but uh, let's assume this is meters. Okay, let's assume this is meters. So from zero meter to five meters, okay, it will translate from zero to five meters. So this is zero, this is five. Next, the second uh, joint variable, according to the program or according to the to the code, okay. It will rotate from negative 90 degrees to 90 degrees. Okay. So let's see. So this is from negative 90 to 90 degrees. Okay, but its default is zero. So you may you can uh, input the rotation in this. Uh, this part of the simulator and this last uh, joint variable or last slide switch okay it is also negative 90 degrees to 90 degrees yes okay. so see negative 90 degrees then 90 degrees okay so let's uh, put them back to zero. Okay. So up here, up here is the position vector, or what it says here is the end effector coordinates. The end effector coordinates is the position vector of the whole mechanical manipulator from the base up to the end effector. Okay. So. What does uh, 12 means here that along x-axis, okay, along x-axis, the end effector is located 12 meters, okay, along x-axis. So, 0 meters along y-axis and 8 meters along z-axis. Okay. So, I forgot to tell. To verify if your if your simulator is right or your code is right, you must uh, first look at the frame of the end effector. Okay, you must look at the frame of your end effector at your simulator and at the end effector of your your uh, drone kinematic diagram. If the directions of the axis of axis of the frame is at the right are the same, sorry, are the same, so your simulator is right. Okay? As well as the axis of the base frame. So we don't have we don't have a frame at the base at our simulator, but as you can see, we have here a graph, okay, showing where is the positive and the negative side of each, each uh, axis, okay. So, let's check the end effectors. So, this is the, this is the end effector of our mechanical, of our kinematic diagram. So, x sub 3 should point to the right, z sub 3 should point, should point to, should, should point upward, while y sub 3 should point backward. Okay. So, in our simulator, z, z axis is pointing upward, y axis is pointing backward, while x axis is pointing to the right side. 
So, they have the same directions of axis of end effector frames. Okay? So, as you can see class, in our uh, kinematic diagram drawing, it is a uh, drawn iso in isometric view. And it's, it is showing the front view, right side view, and the top view. While in our simulator, it is it's also drawn in isometric view, but it is showing the left side view, front view, and the top view. But it is fine. Okay? As long as you understand how to analyze isometric uh, views. Okay? As long as you understand how to analyze isometric views, it's uh, your design or your simulator will be fine. Okay? So, they have the same direction of axis in their end effectors. Next, let's go to the base. Okay? The base frame, okay? In our kinematic diagram, X is pointing to the right. Z is pointing upward and Y is uh, the positive Y0 is pointing backward. In our simulation, as you can see, this is the X axis. Okay, to the right side, we have the positive side. Then to the negative side, then to the, to the left side, we have the negative side. So like the kinematic diagram. Okay, in our kinematic diagram, if we choose that uh, our axis to the right is our x sub 0, so the direction to the left is negative x sub 0. Okay, how about our z sub 0? So, our z axis at our simulation upward is positive, so just like at just like our uh, z sub zero in the parameter in the kinematic diagram, while the y sub zero or the y axis, okay, backward is positive, okay, backward. This is positive, backward. Whatever direction you choose will be positive, and the opposite side that you do not, did not choose will be the negative side so the backward side is the positive while the for uh, the front okay the frontward will be the negative okay so this is a right simulation okay your simulator is right your code is right okay another thing okay so the the Position vector here shows uh, the position of your end effector. Okay, this x, this end effector coordinate. Okay, this end effector coordinates or the position vector shows where will your end effector position. Okay, so example, if I put this, uh, if I slide this uh, first joint variable up to two point nine. Okay, then negative fifty two point four degrees at the at the uh, second joint variable. Then uh, thirty five point six degrees at the third joint variable. As you can see, our mechanical manipulator moves, and the position vector or the end effector coordinates change their values. So this uh values here describe the position of this end effector okay the position of this effect end effector respect uh, reference or relative to the respective base okay so this uh, three values here are the roll pitch yo. so this is used to describe the orientation of our mechanical manipulator, but we will not uh, uh, further discuss the roll pitch. Yo. Okay. We will just uh, discuss the position vector and the 
joint variables because uh, uh, in our robotics one, we will not use the roll pitch. Yo. We are more concerned with the end effector. And uh, to describe the orientation of our mechanical manipulator, we will be uh, we will commonly use the rotation matrix than the roll pitch yo, uh, values. Okay. So, in the next videos, I will uh, teach you how to code. Okay. How to create a code to simulate your mechanical manipulator in MATLAB Online. Okay.